welcome back to my channel. I am welcoming you to Vlogmas Day 11. Oh my gosh, can you believe that we are just making it through this Vlogmas series? I can't even believe it. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I create our holiday cards on Canva, of course. You guys are seeming to love this Canva content, so I'm going to keep bringing it to you. Okay. So first things first, you're going to go to www.canva, that's C-A-N-V-A dot com. Create a login or if you're already logged in, great. And then I'm going to go in the search tab and I'm going to type in Christmas cards. Uh-oh, I can spell right. <laughs> Christmas cards. Okay, so there's going to be plenty of different templates. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find one that is just super cute and perfect for you um hmm, which one do i want obviously you guys saw our video where we took our holiday pictures so i want to get a template that will allow me to show off our beautiful holiday cards of course and i want it to be kind of minimalistic modern like hmm <laughs> Maybe I will try. Oh my gosh, I don't know what kind I want. This is difficult. <laughs> okay, I think I'll try this so that we can play around with different pictures. Okay, so then you're gonna cl click customize template and then um, I'll have to go to uploads and upload pictures of us from the album so i have family pictures right here saved and then i'm going to take a few of my favorites and i'm going to put them on the holiday cards now everybody loves this picture of us so i'm gonna for sure put that one in it and then i like personally one of the walking photos so i'll put one of those in there and then probably try this sit down one where we were on the stairs it looks like we need three different pictures so you're gonna double tap and you can see how you can like crop the picture and stuff like that this is just so that you know what you can do when you drag over your pictures so I'm going to go ahead and press edit photo or sorry edit image actually no what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply just drag over and then remember we double clicked it so that we can figure out how to crop and I want to crop that right there and then I'll press done and then I will bring over another picture and again we can crop it so that it is more of our face than anything which is awesome and then last but not least and then again we get to crop all right perfect and so we are the coopers so we're gonna say with love the coopers merry christmas and voila awesome so Kimba has this option where you can print invitations or print cards and things like that um which is super dope or you can simply share and download the particular um, file and then go to either your local Walgreens or your Sam's Club or Kinko's or something like that and get this thing printed. I'm going to click print invitations because I want to do it through Canva. Now, it will give you a certain amount that you can um, order and then it'll also give you a paper type, paper finish, and then select front and back or however you want it to look like now I only edited the front and I left it and for the back I put none so I want it on premium paper you have the option of doing deluxe or hemp paper um, premium is the better of a choice in my opinion just because it's thicker and more durable and things like that um, deluxe is our superior card choice they said for both quality and strength and then rough textured paper made with renewable hemp 
um, but I'm gonna go with premium and then I would love a gloss finish matte is cool but I like a good gloss finish and then I want personally you can either get one five ten twenty five fifty a hundred hundred fifty two hundred two fifty five hundred a thousand um, but I personally want 50 for my family. And then I definitely want envelopes, so I'm gonna say include envelopes. And then you can either do in-store pickup or you can get it shipped to you. And this total is about $45, which is typical if you go to a particular um, printing shop. You have to print out the cards and then get the envelopes and then get the stamps and things like that. So this kind of like helps everything. So I am a little lazy and I want Canva to do all this stuff for me. So I'm going to press automatically fix all five issues. So basically what they did was adjust uh, edges for printing um, and they move certain elements out of like the danger zone, which means it'll either get cut off during the final or whatever the case may be. And then they allow you to do a quote unquote final check where you get to download the PDF to see exactly what your card would look like and so I just press download PDF and it's gen generating my PDF right now and then I'll show you guys what it's gonna look like any day now okay there we go <laughs> so here's the Canva proof and voila that's what it looks like obviously it won't have that watermark on there it's just showing us what it's gonna look like um, so this is the card that I will be giving out to my family this year and I'm super excited about it. We haven't done holiday cards in such a long time and we got haven't gotten family pictures in a long time too. So this is really exciting, super nice. Um, again, you can do all of this on Canva. Um, I'm going to press checkout. And then I just enter in my card information where I want to get it picked up or shipped to. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I hope this was super simple enough. Give me more ideas on things that you want me to show you how to do in Canva. Um, for some of my social media folk, if you're needing help with creating media kits or different things like that, let me know. I would definitely love to dive into the Canva world. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Remember at 500 subscribers, we are doing a giveaway. So be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay, have a good one. Bye. I just want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New